So in this video, I want to talk about Grignard lithium chemistry. Uh, I want to talk Grignard and lithium chemistry with amides, esters, and acid chlorides. And what these chemistry do is actually they give you two additions. So they actually do not stop at one addition. So let's look at some sort of chemistry with the esters first. So if I have a simple ester like this, and uh, say for example, I had I had meth uh, methyl magnesium bromide, and again we do this in acid, right? Is an acid workup. Well, we know this is plus charge. This is a negative charge. So I'm actually going to attack and displace my leaving group. Okay. And so in this case, I actually have a carbonyl that's now bonded to a CH3. Okay. And then I have this generated this, oh, that's negatively charged. Well, again, this is going to gain protonation. And so I'm going to get an alcohol there. But this is not the major product. What we care about is this. Okay, and then you got to remember that since this is our major product, you got to remember that we have plenty of magnesium bromide in solution, uh, methyl magnesium bromide in solution. And so, again, you could see that we're going to get another attack because these actually react with ketones and aldehydes. Okay, and you could actually see we're getting another attack. In this case, we're going to kick the bond up now on the oxygen and we create a negative charge on the oxygen. And remember, we add acid, right? This is the reason why we add acid, okay? It's going to seek an acid out, and we get that. And so in this case, oh, remember, uh, I forgot my bond. So this is now bonded to another CH3. So in this case, we actually got a tertiary alcohol. Plus, this is going to gain a hydrogen 2C, just like this, okay? But this is not the major product, but again, we got to show all products. And so these are the net products that we get. So notice that we got two addition whenever we use esters. Okay. Now, what about acid chlorides? So what if I take benzoyl chloride and I add this molecule? Yeah, lithium chemistry. Well, remember, lithium is positively charged or carbon is negatively charged. So it's going to attack and we do this in acid okay guys so this is an acid workup yeah so it's going to attack the carbon and displace the chlorine and so we're going to come to a structure that looks like this we still have our carbonyl and now we have a carbonyl that's bonded to a carbon that has this and this so that's the structure that we get well again because we have plenty of this molecule in solution you could see that we generated, we now have the ketone, okay? And this is an acid, okay? And, and so it will attack the carbon and now give that negative charge. And so in this case, we get the the benzene ring, okay? And this is now bonded to an oxygen that's negatively charged. We still have this R group out here. And now this is bonded to a carbon that has one, two on it, okay? So you could see the pattern here. And then again, in acid workup, this is just gonna grab a proton. So it's gonna grab a proton. Okay, and the molecule we form is this. We have an alcohol. Yeah, so this is the molecule that we form. So you could see the two addition here. And the reason for this is because we know that these chemistries react with with the carbonyl compounds, right? With ketones and aldehydes. Well, you see that most of what the esters and acid chlorides and the amides have in common is that they, ha they have a they have a leaving group. Okay, so in the first step, it's going to attack the car and, and and displace the leaving group, and then in the second step, because we now have the pure ketone, we're going to create that alcohol. So this is this these are the chemistries that are important, and and the main thing that I want you to take away from this video is that we get two additions two additions when we use these type, sort of chemistry. Now, so let's look at the last one. Let's look at an amide. So if we take, um, okay, so let's take this amide here and we add methyl magnesium bromide in acid. Okay, what will we get? Well, we're gonna get two addition, okay? Uh, so we're gonna get two addition. So now remember, this is uh, positively charged. This is negatively charged, okay? So in solution, I'm going to attack the carbonyl. I'm going to form a negative charge on the oxygen. So in this case, I have a structure that looks like this. I have a negative charge on the oxygen. I have my NH2. 
and now this is bonded to a CH3. Okay, now remember we do this in acid, so therefore, um, this is going to gain protonation. Now, oxygen is now going to gain protonation, and we come to a neutral structure that looks like this. We're alcohol adjacent to the NH2. Okay, and now remember we have plenty of acid in solution, so uh, the nitrogen, the lone pairs of nitrogen will now attack and seek a proton. Okay, so once it seeks a proton, now we have come to a structure that looks like this. It's lever CHD, and we have the NH3 now. Okay, nitrogen, four bonds plus charge. Okay, now what's going to happen next? These electrons are going to come here, form a double bond, and displace ammonia. So we're going to displace ammonia, and look what we form. We get the ketone product, and we have acetone. We have acetone in solution plus. And H3. Okay, this is the major product. Okay, now remember we have plenty of mag methyl magnesium bromide in solution. Okay, so if we take methyl magnesium bromide, okay, if we take this, now we're gonna add it to, yeah, we're gonna attack the carbonyl carbon and, and, and form the, the anion on the oxygen. So now we have something that looks like this. We have this. Okay, we have the negative charge. And then again, this just seeks a proton out. Okay, so it's going to get a proton from the acid that we added. And we get the tertiary alcohol again. So we get the tertiary alcohol plus um, uh, ammonia. Yeah. So we get the tertiary alcohol plus ammonia. So you could see that with each one of these chemistries, with, with whether it be lithium chemistry or, or, or Grignard chemistry, you get we get an excess of two addition um, to that to that to that carbonyl carbon.